Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. For a couple of months now, I've been creating tutorials on how to use the Internet of Things service on different cloud platforms and I've been using Raspberry Pi to send DST level sensor data to different cloud platforms. What I discover is that a lot of people find it difficult to successfully read DST level sensor data on the Raspberry Pi. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your Raspberry Pi to correctly read DST sensor data as you can see here I can, i'm reading my dc sensor data which are temperature and humidity on raspberry pi so i'm just going to stop this and i'm going to start with the hardware connection first i'll walk you through how to set up the hardware then we're going to do the software and install all necessary modules to allow our raspberry pi read dst 11 sensor correctly So now let me walk you through the hardware connection. Here yeah, I have my DHT and I have my resistor. It's a 10K resistor. I have my bed body and I have my Raspberry Pi. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 for this tutorial. I just got this newly. So I've already set up my connections. I've connected the jumper wires to the Raspberry Pi. So this is the first one. This is connected to pin one of the Raspberry Pi. And this is going to be the data pin. It's connected to pin four on the Raspberry Pi. That is GPIO4. Not actually pin four, but GPIO4. And this is connected to pin number 39, which is a ground pin. So don't forget this is pin one. This is GPIO4. If you have, if you have to count, GPL4 falls to pin number 7. So this is pin number 7, which is GPL4, and this is pin number 39, which is a ground pin. So I'm going to plug in, let me put this to one side. I'm going to plug in my DHC sensor A, and in this sensor, this is pin 1, pin 2, 3, and 4. So my DHC sensor will come here. And I have my 10 k resistor in between pin 1 and pin 2. So I'll just go back and plug this in. So I have my 10 k resistor in between pin 1 and pin 2. So as I have a this is physics pin, which is pin 1, 3 volts on the Raspberry Pi. It comes to pin 1. And this is the data pin, which is GPL4, pin number 7 on the Raspberry Pi. It comes to pin 2. So pin 3 will be left unconnected, while the ground pin will go to the last pin, which is pin 4. So this is the old setup. So I'm using three pin, don't forget, pin one, pin seven, and pin 39. So this is my ground. This is the VCC, which is pin number one, three volts on the Raspberry Pi. And this is GPL4, which is pin seven on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to connect this to my computer now and do all necessary setup. So I'll be connecting my Raspberry Pi to my computer via headless. So that a lot of things will be easy for me to do. I just slot this in and connect this to my computer. Then I power on the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be setting up my Raspberry Pi to read DST11 sensor data, which are temperature and humidity. Before we can successfully read the temperature and humidity from DST11, we have to set up our Raspberry Pi. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Adafruit circuit python library to get this done so to install the library for dst 11 on raspberry pi just come to your browser here i'm using chromium on my raspberry pi and you can search for Adafruit dst raspberry pi setup so if you scroll down just click on python setup 
DHT humidity sensing on Raspberry Pi or Bigubun. So I'm going to click on this link. And on this link, we are going to see instruction and details on how we can set up a Raspberry Pi to successfully read temperature and humidity from DHT 11. So the first thing we need to do is to set up our Linux board, which is a Raspberry Pi, to use circuit Python libraries. So scroll down and click on this link, which is set up your Linux board for using circuit Python libraries. So on this page, we're going to be setting up a Raspberry Pi to use circuit Python libraries. So the first thing we need to do is to install the setup tools. So click on this copy test. I won't be typing this out on my terminal. I've just clicked on copy and I'm going to open the terminal and paste in the code. So this is successfully done. Again, I'm going to scroll down and grab the script and run it on my terminal. So it's asking so click just type in Y to confirm. So while waiting for this, I've just come back to this page. So after running this, we are done setting up a Raspberry Pi to use circuit Python. So let me go back to my terminal to see the updates. It's definitely going to get stuck here. So to just save you the time, you can press Ctrl C to cancel the operation. So with this, we are good and we can continue. So I'm, I'll just go back to this page and click on the back button to go back to the original web page. So I'm done with this step, which is setting your Linux board for using circuit Python libraries. So I just need to grab some circuit Python DHT library here to finish setting up my Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to grab this, which is pip install Adafruit circuit Python DHT. So copying this, I'll come back to my terminal and paste it in. And lastly, I'll grab it, which is sudo apt get install libgpiod. So again, I'm going to copy this and paste it right into my terminal. So with this, we are done setting up your Raspberry Pi to read DHT sensor data. So to test, I'm going to copy this code and run it on my Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to copy this and open Tony. So I open the Tony Python IDE and paste this in. So we need to do some setup to make it work. So first I'm using DST11. So I'm going to change this to DST11. And I'm using GPIO4. So from D18, I'm going to change this to D4. So you can leave everything else as default. And with that, we are good to go. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it. So you can call it DHT simple test.py. If you run this by clicking on run, you're going to be seeing your temperature and humidity. But I discovered there's a problem with this. If you run it for the first time, it's going to work perfectly. When you reboot your Raspberry Pi, it's going to work perfectly. But if you try to run it again, it might not work again. So what you just need to do is to uncomment this particular line, line 14, and again change this to DHT11, and change this to D4. So when you are running your code, it's going to run perfectly. So to run this, I'm going to click on run. So here we have our temperature and humidity coming in. I have my temperature is 86.0 degree Fahrenheit and my humidity. So this is how you can read humidity and temperature data from DHT11 sensor. Again, I'm going, I can read this from the terminal. So if I open my terminal, I'll just clear this. And change directory to documents. We have saved it. 
So you have DHT simple test.py. So to run it, I can just type Python 3. DHT simple test that's py and also on the terminal I have my temperature and humidity coming in so that's how you can set up your raspberry pi to read dst11 sensor data